Today we're going to take a look at Cornell notes. I'm going to give you an example of Cornell notes for the Renaissance. This is not a topic that we have gotten to yet. So you see that I have the Pear Deck slides open in one tab and my notes open in another tab. I've already added my name and my class period to the top of the notes. I also am going to want to add those to um, the uh, assignment title here. I add Mrs. Adkins, so that way when I turn it in, I know exactly which set of notes are mine. Um, so to get started, I'm going to come back to my um, Pear Deck slides. I see that there is some audio included in this, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that audio so that I can hear what the directions are. Make sure that you have made a copy of your Renaissance Cornell Notes sheet into your Romeo and Juliet in the Renaissance folder in Google Drive. All right, so I have already done that. If I haven't, I can go up here to this small icon here and I can move it to a different folder. Um, so if you hadn't added it to your folder yet, that would be a good indication to go ahead and do that. Now I'm on to the next slide here. Again, I see that there's some audio down in the um, far corner, so I'm gonna go ahead and play that first before I get start, take, go back over to my notes to add them. At this point, we can see that Europe has completely transformed from the Middle Ages, from what were smaller kingdoms. If I was taking notes, I'd want to make sure that I listened to the whole thing. There is always going to be information in those audio recordings that are not on the actual slide that may be important or that may lead you to writing things down on your note sheet. Now I can go back to my note sheet, and I'm going to open up my map so that I can... Um, edit this map. In order to do that, I want to go to the arrow and then go to open source and that will open this map for me so that I can write in the text box that are already embedded on the map. Now I'm going to go back to my slide here. I see, okay, I have England, uh, Portugal, Spain, and I'll continue on with that. And once I close it out, it'll automatically save um, I have the little update button, and then it'll update my map with the um, locations. So now I'm ready to move on to the next slide here and start taking my notes. Again, I have some audio, so I'd listen to that first. The Renaissance started in Italy. The word Renaissance is French for rebirth, meaning that this was a rebirth of um, a renewed interest in science and so I usually listen to the rest of that slide, look at re listening for cues from um, the audio that would help me to take notes. After I'm looking at the slide, I'm going back to my notes column and I'm starting to take notes here. So I'm going to uh, start this here. I'm going to say Renaissance equals rebirth. And then I'd want to write what it's a rebirth of. I could do that in a, a bullet underneath it. Um, renewed interest in remarkable developments in art, literature, science, and learning. So I'm going to come back down here and say art, literature, science, and learning. If you want to, you also can write the full sentence out if that's what you want. I can see here it also says human experience. Um, in the audio, I heard her say that the human experience is really a focus on the connection between man and earth because I listened to the audio so I know what that human experience actually means. Now that I've taken some notes here, I want to go back and highlight and um, underline some of the things that are important. So I know that Renaissance is going to be a vocabulary term, so I'm going to go ahead and bold that. I know also that the focus of the Renaissance is art, literature, science, and learning. So you can see I have it bolded here. Um, and so I'm going to come up here to the highlight button, and I'm going to highlight that in yellow to kind of note that that is something that is a main idea. I also know that the human experience is a main idea, and so I'm going to highlight that also. Um, I may... Um, I may not highlight the second part here because that's the explanation. I'm trying to only highlight things that are majorly important um, to the overall idea. Again, if I go back to my slide here, I see this information here. Italy was the most economically advanced urbanized and literate area. So then I might say underneath here, um, Renaissance started in Italy, um, economically advanced, 
urban literate population. Because those are all the reasons from the slide why um, they started in Italy. The other thing that I note from the audio that I listened to was that the Renaissance, um, Italy had roots in Roman and Greek traditions. Oh, and I forgot up here that that reminded me it's a rebirth of classical ideas, meaning Greek slash Roman. So I'm just adding to my notes here to make some changes. You can always change them as you go. Now, this is also another important idea, so I'm going to highlight that as well, that the Renaissance started in Italy. So now that I have highlighted and underlined some of this information here, I'm going to come over to my recall column. My recall column is going to be the place where I put my vocabulary words and potential test questions. So the very first vocabulary word I see is Renaissance. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my recall column. I'm going to add a couple spaces until I get down to the next line because I'm going to add a potential test question here, which uh, is why did the Renaissance start in Italy? Um, and that particular recall question, that potential test question, goes along with this section here. And so I'm going to put it next to, in my recall column, the place where I took those notes. The whole point of Cornell Notes is to have these two columns. That way you can cover up the notes section and still have the recall column here so that you can practice using these as slash cards. So if I was to cover up the notes section, I could say Renaissance time of rebirth, and then I would uncover the notes section and would say, oh yeah, it is a time of rebirth. And then I would cover it up again and I'd say, why did the Renaissance start in Italy? Well, it started in Italy because it was urban, economically advantaged, so on and so forth. The next part of your notes is to, t is to do a summary. So whenever we're doing a summary, we want to use at least five to seven sentences because it is a full paragraph. So if I was to start this off, I would say something along the lines of the Renaissance started was a rebirth of interest in classical learning from the Greeks and Romans, specifically art, literature, etc. The Renaissance started Renaissance. And I might make this one sentence because why do I need to make it two? The Renaissance, which started in Italy, was a rebirth of interest in classical learning from the Greeks and Romans, specifically art and literature. And now I have finished this. You will not do your summary until after you have finished all of your notes, um, as well as that recall column. But I did want to go ahead and um, just show you what exactly we're looking for here. So all of your notes should kind of look like this. If you have any questions or concerns about uh, Cornell Notes, just let me know. We can do a one-on-one -on -one and I can walk you through getting started.